a sort of Ikebana style vase, you could put a little flower frog in it. That's that word that I tried to read off your listing <laughs> for the Honiton one. Icky, what's it? What? Ikebana, how did you pronounce it? Probably like that, I don't know. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my office. It's a new week, it's a Monday again, so I thought we'd pick some orders. Welcome back if you're a regular. If you're new here, my name is Nick and I buy stuff, this stuff you see here, and I sell it on the internet. I try to, to make money, to make profit, that's my job. And on this channel we talk about all the aspects of buying this stuff and selling it on the internet. So yes, today it's Monday. Uh, we've got a fair amount of orders going out. One particularly cracking order that I will get to. So I thought we'd pick a few of these bits and talk about them as we go, I'll share with you what they sold for and yeah, see how we get on. So if I scroll, how many things have we got going out? Uh, 27 orders. Um, we, we might pick them all, I don't know, we'll see how we get on. Um, so the first one, if I go back here, we have sold. I've been listing some vinyl, um, I think there's a couple of bits going out today. So the first one, I need, I need to find a Kinks Golden Hour album, and the same buyer has also bought Kingsman DVD. So... Here is my listed vinyl currently. It's been selling really well. And I think, is it that one? No, where is it? Ah, it's this one. That's a white spine. This one, Golden Hour of the Kinks, basically a best of. So that's gone, what was it? Kingsman. So same buyer has also bought a DVD, which is here. That's one. Uh, combined total of £16 on those. So scroll up, we've got a couple of Andrea's bits. Now all of Andrea's stock, this uh, ceramics and glass vintage collectibles is all now in my office and listed stuff is here. I think all of these shelves are listed. Uh, maybe not that shelf. Anyway, this shelf certainly and I can see the next item, which is that one. Try not to break it, Nick. So this is, I'll read the listing to you, Hygiene Aware Glass Jug, green 1950s. Um, yeah, cool thing. It's got a plastic top on it, which slides back like that. Um, not great value, uh, but not terrible. Twelve ninety nine plus the postage on top, so what did we get total sixteen forty nine total. I couldn't tell you what we paid on this. I wouldn't imagine Andrea would have paid much more than a pound for it. So that's that one, and another one of Andrea's bits is up here. This one. So this is. Let's read the title. I don't want to get it wrong. It says it's a Honiton green mid-century mantle vase. Ikebana? Ikebana style? Might have got that wrong. Uh, Posy vase, number 12, 1970s. That's Andrea's title. There's the maker underneath, Honiton. The model number 12. Yeah, very cool, stylish thing. Again, not huge value. I think this went on offer. I seem to recall, yeah, £15 on that one. So that's cool. Uh, next, we're back on vinyl, Deep Dish Flash Dance 12 inch single. Now, I had a whole load of dance stuff. Uh, is it that one? No, it's not that one. Is it that one? No. Oh, it's this one with all the pluses on because it's a positiva. There it is. Um, yeah, I had a bundle of dance stuff that I bought as a job lot, um, and I've actually done a little bundle that's going to a viewer, you know who you are, thank you very much. So that's sat there waiting to be paid for, and I listed a few bits individually. So this one, 
Uh, 10 pounds on that. It's just a single, 12 inch single. That's cool, get rid of that. Oh, cabinet stuff, right. So, the numbered cabinet, if we grab that. I listed some Lego. We need cabinet 64 and 44. So one of these lots had dropped off eBay. In fact, I think I figured out what happened. So this little lot of Harry Potter figures, some of these are incomplete, uh, missing hair, missing arms, <laughs> uh, missing bodies. Um, anyway, I bundled those together. There was nothing particularly special in there. Um, and it went for £10. But I think what had happened with this was I switched it to auction a while ago to see how it would do on auction. And then the auction finished and then I forgot about it. I didn't really see the auction and it sat in the drawer getting forgotten about. Anyway, I, I put it, switched it to buy it now for a tenner plus shipping just to move those and it went within 24 hours. Likewise, this was a new listing that I did last week um, for some of the Lego key rings. Now these are really cool. These aren't in amazing condition. They, they've been well used. You can see on this one, for example. Um, but they're very, very cool things. Very collectible. They're all key rings, although this one has lost its actual ring. And a Vader. And these are going to Jennifer. Hi Jennifer, if you're watching. Uh, thanks for the purchase. I know you're also a viewer. Um, yeah, those are really cool. So thank you for that. And I put pop those on, you know, at a price to sell. They went at the same money, £10 plus shipping. So £20 on those two drawers of Lego bits. That's cool. Scroll up, scroll up. Uh, you bother with those okay yeah we'll do that so top trumps elf on the shelf went on offer i know i've sold another pack of top trumps that went last night so i'll grab those as well i think it was supercars or something excuse me let's have a look no top trumps gumball supercar yeah okay so two lots of top trumps Trop Trumps, <laughs> uh, a Casio FX991ES. Right, I better get those before I forget what that one is. So I listed, a, I had a bunch of calculators. Uh, that's 83GT. Can you see how many? It's loads in here. Oh, uh, that's a GT. Might be this one. F91 ES, I think it's that one, no case. Yeah, so this FX991 uh, ES, yes, has gone for 14 pounds. Um, top chumps, I went for, I had a load, I've listed some Marvel, some Harry Potter. Um, that's a Hermione, she went on last week as well. I did loads of listing last week, so I was on a bit of a challenge with some friends. Um, I'll share with you my numbers when I, when I have done this. Ah, Top Jumps Elf on a Shelf, those have gone. What was the other one? Gumball, wasn't it? Ah, here we go. And Gumball, so a couple of those have gone. Um, yeah, so I was on a listing challenge. Um, I did have quite a busy week. We, I lost one day when we went to view a house or have a second viewing on a house. Um, but my numbers totaled to 74 listings for a monetary value of 1,320. Now, with this group of friends that I was doing it with... Um, I, I didn't have the highest totals, but just being part of that challenge pushed me to get a load of stuff done, right? So it was it was productive. Um, right, let's pick some more stuff. Uh, some CDs and DVDs. We sold a bundle of four pink CDs and 
X Files box set. Oh, hello. What's after? Um, remember there's a website. Oh, you can talk about that. I wasn't sure which one. So we've sold one of these three, yeah? Yeah, it's the... I think it was the one with flowers in the middle. Or may... Oh, it's one of the ones with frosted yeah, I flowers. I think it's this one. Oh, okay. I'm going to double check it. Okay, so that was a... We have a website. And, yeah. Yeah. It's really nice to get a sale from that. 35, was it? Yes, 35. Yeah. How cool is that? like frosted are they kind of etched on or stuck on? I'm not sure how that's done no, I don't know how that's done yeah well if you double check that's the yeah, right I'll one double check it I'm pretty sure it was a dome one and I think it's the bigger of the two cool um so right while you do that I'll pick these so pink these four pink albums have gone and this complete X Files has gone as well. Let's grab that. That's quite heavy. Put that. Where am I going to put it? Running out of space. Right. So. Uh, what did I do there? Yeah. So pink CDs, um, not a great deal of value. They will still go as a large letter. Four CD albums, you can get to go as a large letter, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, 6 dollars on offer, they went for. And the X-Files, I think, was £20. Let's have a look. Yes. Now, I listed a bunch of wetsuits, and I think we sold two. We certainly sold one there. Alder Kids Shorty. Uh small and let me scroll up sorry you can't see what I'm doing uh, that one Alder Kids medium shorty so both right in here um, I listed four wetsuits I think it's these bottom two which are the same same brand same design different size so one's gone at 15 and the other has gone at 12. So I think that's the smaller of the two, maybe. Maybe not. Now that's the smaller one. So shorty wetsuits have the cut short legs and sleeves. You can get full length ones with the long arms and legs. So yeah, they sold quick for £15 and £12. Okay, so next we sold a random red nose from 2003, um, vintage MB operation board game, let's grab one more, Shadows Greatest Hips. So, red nose. Down here in this box we have a few boxed vintage red noses and it is this one so 2003 this is the one with the stylable hair so that's gone I think that was 10 pounds all in um, operation is up here we've all seen this before this is a 1990s edition I think uh, 96. You can see the box has seen better days, but that was all declared. It's been repaired along there. Complete and working. Uh, I think that was £10 as well. £10 plus shipping on that one. And then the shadows. Uh, so, it's here on the end. Shadows Greatest Hits. And again, I think that was £10 as well. Right, next we sold a Harry Potter lunchbox plus, I, well I made a little bundle of stuff up. Um, I'll show you that and an EMI jointing block for audio tape and another um, Black & Decker wallpaper stripper. So um, Harry Potter lunchbox is that one, let's quickly show you that. So this is a little metal 
lunchbox, but I made a bundle of stuff. So it's got a small Harry Potter plush, a light up little potion pot, a pen with Hermione on, and some notebooks. And I think this went on offer, uh, 11.50. But yeah, happy with that. Job done. And then, um, yeah, this is the Black & Decker. Now I sold an almost identical one. Well, it was exactly the same model. Um, slightly better conditioned box maybe this time. So I just went into the one that sold last week and did sell similar, changed the pictures and it went for the same money, I think 26 pounds. So that's gone quick. And the last one there was, I think it's here, look. Yeah, this thing. So this is vintage 1960s, I would guess, uh, jointing block for audio tape. So the old reel-to-reel -reel audio. To splice them together, you would use this block and a razor blade. Um, I've done a, a lot of this in my time. I did A-level media studies and we did like audio editing. Um, really enjoyed it actually. And those are the jointing, exact same jointing blocks we were using at, at college. Um, yeah, did quite well on this, uh, 15 pounds and it will go as a large letter. So they're worth looking out for. Right, I'm having to switch to my phone because I'm having no end of problems with my little um, action camera thing. It keeps disconnecting and then not saving the footage and it's driving me potty, to be honest. Anyway, next we have... Ah, oh, now this is the, the cracking order. Um, this amazed me. Um, and right here, these, we had... Or we have three, no, four <laughs> cups and matching saucers. So I'll grab one of each and show you. So the listing says, set of four vintage Fire King, Jadeite, Alice, teacups and saucers, 1940s. And they are these pressed glass saucers. Can you see the, the pattern around the edge, kind of a flower pattern with matching teacups and they are fire king. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. So Andrea listed uh, the set of four of each for $79.99 plus £7 shipping because by the time those are packaged um, with loads of padding, double boxed etc it's going to be a big fairly heavy box. So £7 to cover the shipping. It's actually gone on GSP so we will ship it in the UK and eBay will deal with getting it to Italy, which is where the buyer is. So yes, an 80 pounds order on four teacups and saucers. I don't know what we would have paid on them, but probably only a few pounds. So that's amazing, really amazing. Uh, the next one is also up here. This celery vase is going to a viewer. There's a note that reads, Hi Nick and Andrea, thank you for the offer. Keep up the great content on your YouTube channel. All the best, Gary. So Gary's bought this, which has a face on both sides. It's a bassware, two-sided face celery pot. Um, yeah, cheers Gary, appreciate that. Went on offer at 11 pounds. So Andrea's just popped in with, um, with this. But it looks very non-assuming. Uh, we found it in a charity shop some months ago. It sat on the shelf for a long time. And I've just done some research on it. Um, it's by a potter called Geoffrey Whiting. And I'm listing it for £200. Um, several of his pieces have gone on auction for about two, £300. Um, there are several listed on Etsy for similar amounts. Um, so that's what I'm, what I'm listing it at. It's a strange I'll, one. I will put offers on it. 
but um, that's what I'm, well, if they've that's gone what for I'm up shooting to, for. If so. they've gone for up to 300, maybe yeah. you shouldn't need to put offers on. It's got holes right the way through, yet the top... Yeah, it's like, like a posy vase of Ikebana style vase. You could put a little flower frog in it. That's that word that I tried to read off your listing <laughs> for the Honiton one. <laughs> Icky, what's it? What? Icky Barna. How did you pronounce it? Probably like that. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, it means a shallow vase. It's a Japanese style vase, but it's like a shallow vase that you put like a tiny flower frog in. And then it's like, you know, you can arrange your, your flowers in it. We're learning stuff. Yeah. Okay, bye now. Bye. And I think... Yeah, this next order has a message. Hi Nick and Andrea, I recently came across your channel and now I'm about 50 videos down and loving each one. Wow. Keep up the good work. Hope the house move, move goes well. That's Connor who has bought a ream of paper. Now under here is what is left of the paper. I think it's one of these. 1216, yes. So a ream of that, and you also picked up two Bridget Jones DVDs, which are in here. I can get them one-handed. There we go, so Bridget Jones Baby and Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason Sealed. So thank you so much, Connor. I hope you are enjoying the content, as you say, that's cool. Thank you for watching and thanks for the order. So I think we're nearly at the end. Yeah, just a couple more bits. So, cabinet 12. So down here, again, in here we have drawer 12, which has inside it a CPU. You may remember a while back, I picked up a couple of PCs off the side of the road um, and I popped out the CPUs. I think one went for a about £10. This one I reduced to 7 and it's just gone. So that's an Intel Pentium 4 CPU. Job done. Um, next we have a walking stick. Now I grabbed it earlier so it's actually sat down here and it's this world's best cane. It's a fancy walking stick so it's adjustable in height, has two handles and it also has a torch and then these caps pop off and you can hide things inside the handles. Very cool thing. Uh, so that's gone as well at I think we got £30 for that. Yeah, that's been sat in the loft for ages. I don't really remember where it came from. <laughs> But yeah, happy to shift it quick. I listed that last week during that listing challenge. Um, and then let's make this the last one for now. Two Scrabble Deluxe, here we go. Two Scrabble Deluxe um, racks. There should be four of these. I just had two knocking around, plus some pegs. Those have gone out for seven pounds. They'll ship as a large letter, really light, so that's cool. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope I've had trouble with the audio on my phone, so hopefully that came out okay. Um, I'll pick out another video, pop it up here. I'll find an early picking orders video. Check this one out. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you soon.